Hey what's up guys, it's Hijal here and uh, in this video I'm going to show you what Convertry is, how you use it, what it can do for you and what's new for 2019. Also I'm going to go over what you get when you buy Convertry via me. So stay tuned. So first thing first, the page that you're seeing is the page that you know anyone will see after they log in to their Convertry account for the first time. Um, this here are the number of funnels, so this is probably something that you won't be seeing if you have a new account, unless you start creating them. But this basically is pretty much how you create a funnel. It's pretty simple. You just you know create new and uh, give it a name, select a domain, which could either be a subdomain of Convertry, or you can um, you know point your own domain to Convertry which is also pretty easy in fact you can also host your entire domain on Convertry if you want so that's something pretty cool but if you would like to use let's say subdomain of your own domain you can also do that um, using name uh, you know cPanel records um, it's pretty simple they have tutorials on pretty much everything you would ever need so that's pretty cool as well now as most of you might know that I've been using Convertry since 2017. Convertry originally came out back in 2016 and they have been constantly improving this platform since then. Now, you know, if you've been around this industry for a while, especially in 2019, you have seen a lot of page builders come and go. And even this year, there have been a lot of page builder launches with a um, you know one time special pricing and all that but uh, you know those page builders they don't come down to expectations which is also one reason why I didn't promote it anything because you know it's just not my belief right I highly believe in promoting products that I personally use and uh, or even if I don't use it if I see a an advantage of using something else only then I promote it, right? And let's be real. There's, there are not a lot of quality products coming out as of late. Convertry, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. See, Convertry has been around for, two, for three years now, since 2016. And it's been improved since day one. I think they have a team of 12 people by now. Um you know this number might be a bit fluctuating but i think it's somewhere around that so let's you know this is basically the funnel area where you build a funnel if you want you can also have individual pages like you see here you don't have to especially or exclusively link it to a funnel but this sweet little um you know funnel building feature is pretty nice now this is basically just a you know let me just clear that out this is just a well you can say this is just a mock-up right this is not doing anything this is not um this is not basically you know affecting any metrics or anything like that the conversion and tracking and all that stuff that convertry does is based on link clicks so you know if there are links on the page then convertry will track how many visitors came to your page and clicked on those links right so you can let's say you want to just track one link you can disable everything else and then it will only track that one particular link right so that's pretty much um how the, their tracking works it's not the best to be honest it's just okay -ish. so if you want advanced tracking you would probably need something like google analytics or you know if you have something that you custom that is a SaaS or something then you can use that I personally use Google Analytics they go well with Convertry and I I sort of use it um, you know I, I know how to use it in a advanced fashion which not everyone does which is also okay so you can you know pretty much use anything that you are good at but now let me show you the editor right um, I think I already have the page open here yep so this is basically the page that you will be on while watching the video most probably 
if not if you're watching this on youtube then uh, there'd be a link in the description to this page go there it will also show you the bonuses i'm giving away now this here is the page builder and this right here is heaven like I, honestly i'm not even exaggerating this thing is so amazing i can't even tell you like i can honestly pick anything i want and i can place it anywhere i want right there are no limits only my own creativity is my limit and and best of all they do have an undo button unlike click funnels now i don't know if you have used click funnels or not but uh you know the, the last time i tested it they, their undo button was still in beta so you know this thing is miles ahead of um, click funnels their usb or a you know unique selling point has always been fast pages and let me show you how fast when i mean fast just look at this thing load look at how fast it loads right and um you know they basically are using a few different technologies one of which is called cdn which basically is a content delivery network and it um you know they have uh, multiple data sources all around the world delivering content to you from your nearest location which is one reason why this is so fast right so if you are let's say in uh, pakistan like me then they probably have a server in india delivering to pakistan because it's the closest right if you are in let's say texas then uh, they have a server in houston delivering to people specifically in texas right so it's just the technology is so good that, you know andrew fletcher i know that man personally and he's a genius honestly he's a genius when it comes to tech so the few things that they use is number one cdn which you know just makes this thing so fast and number two is lazy loading now if i you know i can't even scroll through this page so fast but what lazy loading basically is is let's say you are on this thing right you are on this side of the page what's the point of loading the entire page when the user's not gonna see it right so lazy loading is basically it's gonna load the remaining of the page not page but images spef specifically it's gonna load the remaining images once you scroll once you st start scrolling a page right so when it recognizes that you're just above the fold then it loads the images so that is pretty cool it helps fast the page up even more and then their image compression technology is super amazing so you know it just makes your pages load super fast and uh and it's pretty cool right i mean um uh, research says that a user doesn't even stays on your page if it loads any slower than three seconds right so this technology it helps overcome that with exclusively with the 2019 version they have optimized the video players which by the way are one of the biggest chunks of you know page loading speeds right now in the 2019 version what they have done is they have introduced a technology which basically takes the snapshot of the um of the video player and posts that so it doesn't really loads the video until you click on this thing right now this is for vimeo videos so youtube video player however it does load it but it obviously won't play until you click on it or if you have to find autoplay but um for vimeo what they do is that they um basically capture a snapshot and then paste that right now when i click on this it's gonna yeah, so guys, it's a play my vimeo video so that helps um take the you know that helps with the page speed a lot now something that i'm not utilizing on this page which is also a very huge feature is the their own video player right now 
there's a bug with this as of right now. So the bug basically is, you know, basically to make our if you can see this video, if you can see this video, what you're seeing right now is that it's trimmed from the sides, right? It's not, it's not full, right? You can't see the WordPress panel here. You can't see my username. That's not how it's supposed to be. So, um, you know, that's a bug and I had reported this to Andrew and he said, yeah, it's a bug and we're going to get this fixed ASAP. So currently they are not working on this because they are, they have a launch on their heads and being honest, you know, when you have a launch on your head, you have a lot of work. So I won't expect this to be fixed this week, but rest assured it will get fixed. Um, I'm also in their Facebook group, which let me just show you. Um, convertry. Well, it has 4.5k members. Not obviously, not all of them are. Um, you know, not all of them are their users, but majority of them are, and this group is also very very helpful right so you can see when users come across any problem we have a whole community of people helping them out right so that's pretty crazy one thing that i haven't shown you is the mobile page builder of convertry which is also pretty crazy i haven't even touched anything on this so this is whatever it's translating to the mobile version it's all being done by default right so this is all done by default i haven't touched this now obviously i'm going to be making some tweaks on this so things like um, maybe changing the size of this thing so let's say i'm going to select maybe 90 percent to make sure it appears in one line which it doesn't now it does so What I'm trying to achieve here is bringing this thing in one line, uh, two lines, sorry. Uh, okay. Now, obviously, this is all being designed for, for mobile, right? I can even hide things specifically for mobile. So, let's say I don't want this video to play. I can click on this thing. And it's not going to be on mobile at all now. So, that's pretty cool, right? You can hide or show specific elements just on desktop or mobile so you know that's pretty crazy then obviously we have a lot of different things and if i start going into details then uh, it's, this video is gonna get a lot bigger than it already already has um it's already uh, we are already at 13 minutes so <laughs> that's crazy but one thing i'd like to show you is the layers feature which is also pretty cool um, with layers, you can basically create things like this top bar that you probably see on the page. This one, you can obviously define, um, you know, obviously keep it sticky so it doesn't scroll. I, I have it set as a scroll. Um, you can create um, pop-ups, any sort of pop-ups. Then you can, uh, um, you know, use the triggers and define how you want that pop-up to appear so let's say you want the pop-up to appear on this click uh, on a click of um, basically this button right what you can do is you can um, I think my browser just got frozen or something oh sorry no it doesn't right so you can click on this and you can go ahead and add a new action and on that action you can define what you want to do um, you can have an accident and time page scroll or and you can even have click I don't know why it won't show it here um, give me a second it should actually be showing click here but for some reason it isn't mm, not sure we'll have to look into that but basically you can um, define how you want a or maybe you can just do that from here. Oh, yeah. So, 
uh, yeah, they have recently changed the user interface of actions and triggers. So you can basically add uh, element specific actions from their properties. So it should have the click event here, click mouse movement scroll. So basically on click, you can display different kinds of layers that could be a pop up. It could be a warning sign or something, you know, whatever you want. Right, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can basically create any sort of pop-up that you want from within Converter. You don't need a third-party uh, pop-up builder or something like that to achieve anything in Converter, right? That's pretty cool as well. Now, uh, I was talking about the video. So, this there's one issue with the video that it just doesn't responsively fits the video in the player. Um, it's a bug, so hopefully it's going to be sorted out really soon i mean i just didn't really wanted to push this without you letting uh without letting you know that there is a bug and obviously there will be a few bugs now it's pretty robust i'm not gonna lie right it's pretty robust so you can you know it's not something that's gonna be interrupting in your work but basically this video player is so good let me just give this a hard refresh and a hard refresh is basically control shift r on a pc and command shift r on a mac what this does is it clears cache for that specific page now i have done that i'm going to give this one more reload and now i'm going to show you how fast this page uh this basically the um the video player basically works it's it's so crazy like i'm just going to click the button and it's going to stop playing that's not how it works on vimeo or youtube especially on my internet right it's not the fastest it's barely 10 mbps hey what's up guys it's a no. here there was absolutely zero delay so the hard is pretty cool this technology that they have been working on it loads the page super fast it loads the video super fast so it's pretty crazy right so with that being said there are also a lot of new things they have added in this let me show you um this is basically the video player you can uh, do a lot of things with the video player now they'll be pushing this one uh this video exclusive features a lot because it's the new usb that they are going behind i think but basically you enter your own url of the mp4 file which you can basically get by uploading to wordpress if you have wordpress um that's what i did with this video um not sure if i can find that right now only gonna take a lot of time so you know you can enter your own mp4 file and uh that's gonna be that then you can define if you want to autoplay on desktop as well as on mobile and then you can uh, go into the additional autoplay setting if you have the pro account which i don't but i'm gonna disable this for now then you have the player property you can even change the skin i personally love this one so that's a pretty good one and i think that this alert theme is pretty good as well so you know you have a few options to work with you can obviously select and define a video thumbnail if you want if you don't it's just going to use the thumbnail image from the video so that's okay as well but uh the main thing is this the actions and event and it's crazy what you can do so you can show things based upon click mouse movement and scroll which is nothing crazy and then you can show things based on specific user events so whenever user starts the video you can show something whenever user ends the video you can show something whenever user pauses the video you can show something not just that you have more options so you can show specific things on video time so um you know most of the time delay features that work are basically time delay features right it's not video time it's not linked to video time so if you define five minutes it's basically going to show the button or the pop-up in five minutes regardless of if the user has watched the video with convertry that's not the case when you define the video timing what happens it it basically only shows what you want to show once 
the you know the time has come so if you select video passes time marker here you can define the timing of the video where you want this to show up and it's not going to show up until and unless the user gets on that specific time so that is pretty pretty crazy that's not something you get to see every day then you can obviously show something um, based upon the play length so let's say your, your video is 15 minutes and you want to show something after 10 minutes then you can um, you know do that you can show anything it might be a button it might be a pop-up it might be really honestly can be anything and give me a second here my battery is dying so let me just plug that real quick all right that's done now so yeah after that you have a video section between two points is fully played so this basically what this does is it um, you can define <coughs> two points and until and unless specifically that part is played um it won't show the whatever you want to show right it could be a button it could be a pop-up it could be a call to action it could be a text it could be really anything honestly then you can um define uh, show something while the video is between two specific markers so let's say you want to show something that um you know let's say that you want to show a button that is between 20th and 30th minutes of the video so you can do that so after 30th minute it's gonna go away right so that's pretty cool as well so like i said it's pretty crazy what you can do with this thing um this is just you know what i'm what i'm telling you is just basically scratching the surface you can literally change the entire page dynamically as the user watches the video and uh, it's pretty crazy right so that's something that uh, if you if you are big on things like um, you know video marketing especially VSO marketing then uh, you should honestly be looking into this it's pretty cool um, I guess that's about it for Convertry uh, obviously if you have any questions and all that you can hit me up or you can even have hit up the converters support. they are pretty responsive however they might be receiving a lot of queries since its launch but uh, I'm just gonna go quickly over all of the bonuses that you can get if you buy converter via me and um, these bonuses are only available until the midnight of 25th which uh in pacific time by the way so yeah let me just go over my bonuses quickly the video is getting a bit too lindy right so the first thing that i'm giving you is pages that you can use as templates right 62 pages to be specific and these pages are pages that have made me a lot of money like honestly a lot of money now if you if you have been on my list for a while you know that obviously every page <coughs> every page that I could <coughs> excuse me every page that I create is basically created on Convertry, right that's been the norm since the past two years I've been using Convertry heavily so you can now get access to pretty much all of the pages that I have ever created you can always preview these pages as well by clicking on the links now some of these pages don't have previews so yeah that's that but you can pretty much click on every page and view it i'm also giving you away uh, the pages of content gorilla and you can also you are allowed to use the copy as well as the design except the branding so you can't really use the logos and any words and stuff that is trademarked right besides that you can use the entire thing now this copy has generated me a um, hundred and thirty thousand US dollars in sales of content gorilla so you know it's not some rehashed stuff that you're gonna be seeing with a lot of other marketers right it's super high quality top-notch stuff that I have used in my business and it has made me money you also get uh, SaaS templates different sort of templates um, you can go through all of them 
then we have some life coach templates this was one of my kind daniel mangana and i created a lot of pages for him as well so you can um you know use that those pages as templates and uh, there are all, a lot of pages so you can go ahead and uh, preview any that you want a few have split tests running so um you know you can go ahead and preview the both of the variations then we have some bridge pages personal branding pages tripwire funnel online event sales page and then obviously the bonus pages that i have created for promotional purposes you can also use that then we have one of my latest creation text animate and what text animate basically does is it creates animation like these right this is something pretty cool which you can uh, give away you can sell it give it away do whatever you want customize it get the source code edited you get do whatever you want rights to text animate and uh, you know it's uh, you can basically do whatever you want then we have animate here which is another plugin that we have you know we have been um working with this plugin since i guess 2017 um it still sells very well uh, we have still users coming in every day we have still people using this thing every day and i'm gonna give you white label rights to animate here so i'm gonna basically you get the plugin and you get the self space which you can import into convertry after your purchase and then you can edit it without any problems so you get basically white label rights to animate here and i'm gonna do the white label link for you so you can provide me with the logo and i'm gonna get the name and stuff changed from the plugin as you can see this is pretty much how the plugin's layout would be i'm gonna get this changed and then obviously you get the page so you can um you know change that then i'm giving you a way access to click here which is a pretty solid app that i recently bought and uh, you get free access unlimited usage access with absolutely zero limits with clickio you can track anything uh, you know it's like i said convertry tracking is not 100 percent good so you know you would want to have something that tracks and uh, with clickio you can track link clicks you can run split tests um, you can um, basically limit the people who are viewing a link by giving them a password. You can drop tracking pixels and all that stuff in the video. So, you know, that's pretty cool as well. Uh, not with the video, but the pages. So before a user is redirected to a page, you can drop a Facebook retargeting pixel maybe. Or a tracking pixel from Google Analytics and all that. So, you know, it's a pretty handy tool that I think that you should have in your arsenal of tools then we have content guru which is a pretty solid app and it will allow you to build content to create content um you know from viral sources and all that you can go ahead and watch the demo it's pretty in detail and it's gonna show you everything and um that's about it that's all the bonuses that you get when you buy convert before 25th of october but yeah, that's about it for this review. I guess, uh, you know, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. Um, you can reply to my email or anything. Um, you know, if you're watching this video on YouTube, just comment below and I'm going to get back to you. Um, that's about it, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm going to catch you later.